Okay, for this split squat variation, we have a relatively light band around one leg, pulling that knee into valgus, so pulling the knee midline. It's gonna help us, cue us, to keep that knee out, okay? But we don't wanna do it excessively where we're pulling our knee way out to the side or even letting our foot start to come off the ground on the inside edge. Instead, we wanna keep this knee in line just enough to activate the outside part of the hip here to do so and no more, okay? So find a nice resistance for that. We're gonna have the load in the same side as a forward foot. So we'll start at the bottom of our split squat. My back knee should be under my hip. And then from here, I want you to think about loading the inside edge of this foot. So we're keeping our knee in line with our toes, but we're also loading this forefoot, keeping our heel on the ground as well, but most of that weight is gonna be slightly forward in our foot. And then from here, just standing straight up, keeping in mind our knee and the weight in the midfoot and forefoot. Think about your pelvis as a bowl of water. Don't let it overextend in this low back and pour the water out the front. Keep it tucked underneath as we do this exercise. That back knee should always stay about underneath that hip. Give it a shot. <laughs> 